Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you again so much for joining me here. Happy Red Friday to you. Wow, isn't this great? Uh, well, honestly, it's either direction, right? Bitcoin and or Fridays have a tendency of being either really pumpy or dumpy. So I guess we're getting it out of the way early. I don't know, a slight consolation there. Uh, we have a potential triple bottom too here. We're going to talk about that. But those are mostly consolations in a majority of, uh, you know, terrible conditions. Okay, so there's a lot of unfortunate circumstances here. Uh, I'm glad that a lot of people listened to me yesterday by not taking any longs with Bitcoin. Um, obviously, hindsight's 2020. It would have been nicer to short. Look at this here. My alert set at 60,000, 59,950. Literally, this entire week has been a series of just barely missed opportunities. Uh, and it's okay. That's the way it goes. Sometimes folks just understand it happens to everyone, including myself. So you're not alone if you do miss an entry. And uh, again, I'm not going to FOMO in. Hindsight, of course, um, would have been nice to possibly do that. But you don't want to catch a falling knife. It's generally not the concept or the uh, the best practice. But we'll look at a few key factors here and kind of see what's going on. Let's start with back-end liquidation data. And while we're waiting for this to load, just want to hit uh, say thank you so much. Hit the like button if you could. Comment below if you get a chance. Love to hear from you. Absolutely appreciate your support. Either way, you are very awesome. I deeply appreciate you. So what we want to talk about here with Bitcoin is lower liquidation levels. Now, keep in mind, the more liquidation you see at certain areas, the more likely it's either A, to get swept, or B, to be a strong support level. So it's an interesting concept, right? You got a lot of, a lot of support in this one range, but there's also a lot of push to get to that direction. So it's really simple to understand uh, when you have a really heavy amount of liquidation, People with a lot of money will push the price action to that level so we, they can destroy all opposition and then they do exactly what you expect them not to do. Or in this case, we expect them to pump the price right after. Okay, so that's why you see dead cat bounces or just in general consistent bounces off of the price just barely wicking down uh, just because it's manipulation 101. Okay, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see a wick down to you know, 57, 57.5 just to sweep this lower level and then Bob's your uncle price returns back as if it never happened. Okay. Really, really consistent. So just know that it exists. It's not a guarantee. Um, but the thing that is uh, likely here too, and that's why triple or double bottoms exist, um, because there's a lot of support at those ranges, right? So we have a lot of buying pressure at just say 58,000 as a rough estimate. And um, you know we could very well see this level hold. My speculation is we're going to see something along the lines of this and then it's uh, back on track. That's my, my expectation. Again, at this point, still too early to tell we're honoring this descending trend line by essentially remaining bearish. And until we close above this descending trend line, probably not the best condition to take along. Now, again, sometimes if you have overextensions in the right areas and you have a triple bottom or in the inverse, basically maybe a triple top or a double top, those are case in point where you maybe want to consider taking along. It does carry higher risk, but it does carry some, some decent reward. Sometimes it can be quite favorable. Again, we're kind of on a razor's edge here too, so I want you to just kind of be careful and patient, treat it with respect. If you do end up taking a trade like that, just know it's um, it, it's potentially problematic or hazardous. If we take a look here, the daily time frame we can recognize we're under 50 on the RSI. We've seen this for a while, nothing's changed. Stochastic's still pulling back, but you can only pull back for so long. And we've seen what, about five days of bearish divergence here with the MACD divergence now as well. Okay, so those are all areas of consideration to recognize that uh, you're probably going to be finding more success going to the downside than the upside. Now, do you short into a support level like this? Probably not. It's hard to want to short until it breaks that level. So if we get a solid closure below 50, what, 57,800 or just say 58 even, then I think there's a decent chance we're probably going to see further downside. But if we can hold this level. We might actually see a recovery here. Wouldn't be surprised if uh, you know Asia jumps in and uh, takes over and uh, essentially pushes or you know, pulls the market down. It could it could go either way. Asia's been very quiet, honestly, in the after you know late afternoon here for us in the U.S. Um, and it's it's an interesting thing. I think they're just waiting to strike <laughs> for the right opportunity, and we'll see here soon. Obviously, what that looks like. Okay, four hour time frame. We are under all moving averages, still bearish. We are getting closer to thirty on the RSI. This is an area in which um, oftentimes you can find success by taking you know or buying this dip. If you see here, the more recent time frame when the price hit 30 on the RSI, you can recognize that the price action was able to recover shortly after. Okay? Now, it's not a guarantee it's going to do that, but generally speaking, within 12 to 24 hours after it hit that bottom, the price recovered. That's usually a common thing because the price has held down for so long. People are just willing to buy because it seems like a good value. Okay? So we're, we're hoping that happens here soon. But at this point, when we look at the four-hour time frame, everything is bearish. And there's no real reason to take a long position. 
That one little caveat there, plus the triple bottom, could actually factor in favorably here. I would say if we see a sweep down to 57, 57.5, then that might be the, the, a viable dip to buy just because of how the price action is treating us. But we look at the hourly, last two hours have been absolutely abysmal. Nothing good here. Each mocha cloud is going to confirm that we are 100% on the wrong side of the tracks here. All the more reason to avoid a long position. So me personally, if I see 57,000 swept, that might be a consideration for long. Um, but if the price action remains above this 57.8 or 58K here today, it might be worth considering um, along there as well. But uh, if we close soundly below this support level, it seems pretty indicative the price is going to continue lower. Okay. But again, a quick little move down and move back up, that's a different story altogether. So hopefully I didn't confuse you by kind of throwing out different possible scenarios. I like to kind of entertain all ideas here. Um, and again, at this point with these um, you know, heavy amounts of liquidation, there's a solid chance we're gonna see a, a, a wick down and then of course a strong recovery right after. So be ready with uh, potential long buys there. But again, you wanna keep your leverage low, position size low if you can in situations like this. When it gets really, gnarly and <laughs> there's really no reason to take high risk okay so again just keep that in mind either way i hope that makes sense and i described that correctly here we're going to want to wait to to see where the candlestick closes here today i think that's probably an appropriate and more responsible thing to do um, but again if the price runs it may be worthwhile um, considering a long to pivot off that more recent lower area of liquidation all right, I'll post some playout charts here on our Twitter, Telegram, and Discord in case you're not familiar. I do have those available over here, and you can go ahead and see areas uh, that I'm considering trades with. Uh, otherwise, be safe out there, folks. Careful. Uh, there's a good chance we will see further downside here. It just seems, just seems likely at this point. Wouldn't be surprised. All right, folks. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.